Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's DIY, I'm going to make a candle holder slash vase. I found this particular vase at Goodwill. And I actually found two. Um, the thing that's different about it is that it kind of tapers inward. It goes in right in the middle and then comes back out. And that's what I like about it. So I've decided to decorate it with mirror tiles and crushed glass. Alright, so here I have some mirror tiles. And so what I'm going to do is cut individual strips of this mirror tile. Here I have an X-Acto knife and I'm just going to flip the mirror tile back and start cutting. Now I'm going to use these towels all the way around the vase, so I'm going to have to cut quite a few. So I'm going to go off camera and cut the rest and then come back. Okay, as you can see, I have several strips of the mirror tile. Now, I'm going to do two different lengths. Uh, the longest length would have 13 tiles and the shorter one would have 7 tiles. Each one of these has 15 tiles, so I'm just going to remove two from here and I'm going to do that to several. Now I'm going to take this one and I'm going to count seven tiles. Okay, so I have seven tiles. So I have 13 and seven. Okay, the design is really simple. All I need to do is just lay this here. And I'm going to put this right here to help hold it in place. And I'm just going to lay one down right here in the center. Then I'll go in with the small one. It's going to be right in the center of that one. Then I'll come back in with a long one. And I'm just going to continue to go all the way around. Alright, so I'm just going to remove the first one. Okay. Alright, so now we have our first one down. I'm going to come back in with the short one and put that right in the center. And this is really easy to do because all the tiles line up. Just like that. So I'm going to continue to go all the way around and then come back. Okay guys, I'm back. And as you can see, I'm completely done adding a mirror towel to my glass. Isn't it pretty? It's so different. Honestly, you could leave it like this. Maybe put some mirror towel around the top and the bottom and use it that way. But instead of just leaving it like that, I'm going to add some crushed glass to it. Here I have a container with crushed glass in it. I'm just going to refresh it. I have a bowl and I'm going to put some Mod Podge in the bowl. I have a paintbrush, it's rather large. And I have a small one and I'm going to use both. I'm going to use a small one to get right between here. So let's start there. So you just take the brush, load it up with the Mod Podge, and put a generous amount right in those spaces. So now I'm going to take the larger brush and just go in around the top. Sometimes people ask me why don't I just dip the container into the crushed glass, I'll show you why. And it wipes away some of the Mod Podge. You get a big old mess. So to me, this is the best way. 
just to pat it on top and pat it down. So I'll come back in after this dries completely and remove any crushed glass that's on the mirror towel. So for now I'm just going to put my hand inside, take the small brush, dip it into the Mod Podge, and put it right inside the little small area like I did before. Okay. So I'm gonna let this completely dry, come back in and fill in those empty holes with more crushed glass and Mod Podge. Okay guys, so this is what it looks like after the first layer has dried. And of course you can see all these holes that I need to fill in. So again, I'm gonna take the small brush, dip it into the Mod Podge, fill in those spaces with the Mod Podge and glass. Okay, so now I'm going to put this aside, let it completely dry, I'll come back and seal it, and then move on to the next step. Okay guys, I'm back and it's the very next day. So what I want to do now is seal my glass in place. Here I have some water, I'm just going to mix in a little bit of Mod Podge. So now I'm going to take one of my bigger brushes. Put my hand inside and just dab it on, just like so. I'm going to go around and get all the smaller spaces first. And now I'll just go around the rest of it. Now do the same thing on this side. Okay, just like that in the seal. So to give it more sparkle, I'm going to sprinkle on a tiny amount of glitter. So I'm gonna let that completely dry. Come back and see if there's anything else I wanna do with this. Okay guys, I'm back and the crushed glass is completely dry. So to finish this off, I'm going to add one of these Dollar Tree candle holders right on the bottom. So I have some Gorilla Glue and I'm just gonna put it right around the top. Right, and then just put it right in the center. And let it sit overnight. Come back, put the candle inside, and let you guys see what it looks like. As promised, here are my beautiful, holiday-inspired candle holders that can also be used as vases. I really love working with crushed glass this time of year because it reminds me of Christmas snow and the icy months ahead of us. As seen in the DIY, it's a very simple design that turned out beautiful. Now if you would like to make it more decorative, you can add some really pretty brooches to it or some type of flat Christmas ornament, or even a beautiful Christmas flower. 
You can even decorate the base of the candle holder itself. And I did forget to mention that I added some mirror tiles around the neck of it. Okay everyone, this concludes my DIY. I'll be back with more holiday DIYs very soon. I hope that you enjoyed it and if you did, please leave me a thumbs up. Don't forget to comment, share, and subscribe if you haven't already. Okay everyone, I'll see you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching.